All right, so this is the um, seventh video for the affordable house project. Um, so there's a little bit of cleanup that I, we have to do with our plans. And uh, then this video is all about putting in a ceiling, which is required, and then electrical, depending on uh, time, if you have time for that. Okay, so uh, first we need to um, clean up, like I said, if you go down to the project browser over here uh, on the, uh, we have 104, the section plan. So the section, excuse me, the section plan should have all uh, the, the plan with all the different sections available. Um, the regular floor plan should be a little bit cleaner and not have all that. So if I open up, so I want to clean up this drawing and not have all the sections on there. Uh, only the, the wall sections, not the kitchen and bath sections. So um, what I want to do here is, um, so here, uh, this drawing here has the kitchen and bath sections. So what I need to do is, um, oops, cancel. Uh, I need to open up this drawing and Oops, what did I do? Wrong one. Uh, section plans. And then drag the kitchen bath sections out here. All right. Um, I need to maybe go back here. Let's, I think I need to zoom in a little bit. All right, so one thing is I don't need, since my dimensions are somewhere else, I don't need all these dimensions anymore. So I'm going to hide and view category. So it's going to hide all my dimensions. I don't need those. I don't need these tags, hide and view category. So all the tags, I'm going to uh, remove the window tags. I'm going to zoom in around the structure a bit more. I'm going to remove the, oops, the door tags, not the doors. So zoom in until I see the tag, right click, hide and view category. Um, all right, so oh, that got rid of more than I wanted to. Oh, no, it didn't. All right, so we're good. Okay, so now turn that off and then come back here to 104 the section plan. Delete the current one, drag the new one out. And there we have it. Uh, I can drag this up a little ways, drag the whole thing down a little ways. There we go. Okay. Uh, and that way, when I go back to the first floor plan, I can hide the uh, these sections. All right. So if I click on this section, hide in view. I'm going to hide elements here, not not all of them, hide and view element. Um, where is this one? Hide it, oh, that one. Hide and view element, this bath section. So here, hide and view element. And this just cleans up my plan a bit. Hide and view. So I still have my wall section. So this is my interior wall section, my exterior wall section. I still want to keep those um, on this plan. I need to maybe clean this up a little bit um, so I'm not covering up that dimension. But, um, and that's part of the reason is that I just don't want to cover anything, any important information up. All right. So now if I go back here to my floor plan, it's quite a bit cleaner now. If I go to the section plan, that has all the sections, but all, a lot of the other information is hidden. Um, elevations, I haven't done this yet. I don't know why I was just missing this. So I want to put my east, north, south, and west elevations here. Uh, probably, oop, looks like a relic. Nope, they're not cleaned up. So uh, let's clean them up a bit. So drag this up. Drag this in. Drag this in. Drag that down. Uh, make it fine so I can see more. Um, okay. And then turn that off. Let's do that for the rest of them. So turn the section box on. 
bring this in closer. Closer. Um, if you click on this one and then click on this little squiggly mark that kind of moves it down and then you can move it down a little further. That way you can see all the information there. Uh, again, switch to fine. And section box off. Do this for south as well. Click here, click here, drag it down a little bit further. Switch over fine and um, maybe hidden line or shaded. Now let's keep it as hidden line. All right. And turn that off. And then the west. Okay. And then hit that, drag that down. There we go. All right. So let's see about uh, if those are the right size now. Um, so elevations, bring out the east. That looks like that'll work. The north. Mm. Let's see. Move this over a bit. Move that there. Put the west underneath of the east. And then put the south underneath the north. Okay. Uh, mostly good. I could clean this up a little bit more, try to make these lines line up. There we go. Um, get these a little higher. Okay. All right. There we have it with our elevations. So our elevations are done. So um, section plan, yep. Floor plan, yep. And the room plan. Uh, the room plan, let's hide the floor. I just realized that the floor is not hidden there. That just clutters things up. So hide in view element. Uh, we can hide all the sections, hide in view category. That way it hides all those. And then there we go. All right. Um, so room plan, that's pretty clean. Drag that up a little bit. I think this is just like maintenance in terms of uh, cleaning these things up, making them look better. Sections, good. Elevations, good. Sections and schedules, good. Kitchen and bath elevations. Good. All right, so it's the electrical plan we're working on now. All right, so um, go to the first floor plan, first floor floor plan. Um, and uh, we're gonna put in the ceiling. So that right away should maybe give you a little bit of pause. We're not gonna put the ceiling on the floor. So we should go for the first time to ceiling plans first floor. All right, there we go. So you see that you're not seeing a lot of stuff. You are seeing the roof. So let's right click on that, hide and view element. Um, all right, so ceiling, let's put on it and put in a ceiling. So uh, we don't put in the compound ceiling two by four ACT, like that's like a commercial system. Um, gypsum wall board on metal stud. So again, we're not using metal studs. Um, so edit that, duplicate gypsum wall board on wood stud. Okay, edit the structure. So wood stud layer, again, um, this isn't what you typically, you only use a, a two by four studs. These are usually uh, ceiling joists, which are two by six or something like that. So first of all, let's switch the material to wood stud layer and say, okay. And usually a roof rafter or, or sorry, not a rafter, but a roof joist or a ceiling joist is gonna be a you know two by 10 
uh, or two by eight at a minimum or so, something like that. So uh, I'm gonna say two by 10, which is usually 9.25 inches, nine and a quarter. And you are gonna use five eighths drywall. So uh, it's a little thicker than the one half and the whole point is when it's a ceiling, it won't bend um, at all. All right, and say, okay, okay. And now you want to use the uh... – all right, so we're going to use that system. Um, and then if you use the auto ceiling, it's going to just automatically select um, room outlines for you. So you can put a ceiling here and put it here. And I'm just clicking as I go. You don't really see much happening. And you got to put it in the closets too. So I clicked in every single room. Um, and so let's see what happened. So let's go to my 3D view. Let's hide the roof. Hide the view element. And there we go. All right. So it worked. Um, but I wasn't careful, of course. Uh, I want to have nine foot ceilings and the height offset was eight foot. So if I select them all, Select, 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 select. Let's see if I've missed any. Nope. Um, the height offset should be nine feet. Hit enter. Apply. Okay. All right. And now let's turn the roof back on. Unhide element. And then turn this off. And there we go. All right, so now we have uh, a ceiling. So when we go into our house and look up, we don't just see the pitched roof, we see a ceiling. All right, and typically ceilings are painted white. So if we wanna do that, we can turn the section cube back on, section box back on, and look up into our house. Look underneath here. We're gonna paint all these white. Okay, so um, we need to make a white paint. So let's go to manage materials. Let's go find paint. I did paint blue, so let's duplicate that. Oops, uh, that was wrong, delete that. Um, and paint again. So paint, blue paint, duplicate selected material, and we'll call it uh, paint ceiling white. All right, so paint ceiling white graphics. Um, let's just use white. Okay, appearance. On this library, paint. Um, just white. All right. And white. Apply. Okay. All right. So click on it. Paint. And make sure you choose ceiling white. Let's see. Make sure you pick the actual ceilings. You pick like an object or something. It's not going to pick the. It's not going to paint the ceiling. So like, um, in these closets, it's kind of hard know where the oops, where the ceiling is oops I think I'm doing some walls there okay I got it all right I think I painted some walls accidentally white but anyway not a problem all right escape out and now if you go into VR you will see um, 
white ceilings, but the problem is uh, you will not have any lighting available to you. So, um, so far that's the required part. So the, the big thing here is if you go back to your sections, so your uh, interior wall section, here is your, your ceiling now. So if I go back to show crop region, All right, so, um, and then turn the crop region off. So, you know, the important thing here is, okay, so I think I offset it a little too much. Um, the five eighths should be a little further down. Um, so the, the stud should be sitting directly, um, the, not the stud, the, the, roof joist, ceiling joist should be sitting right on top of the double top plate. So this should really only be um, eight and three eighths, eight foot, 11 inches and three eighths of an inch offset. And so same thing here, eight foot, 11 and three eighths. So I'm going to go back and make that correction. And let's see, can I, nope, can't. all right. Um, and so it's not like technically the way it should be like the, the roof, the ceiling joist should really go all the way over, uh, but I can annotate this now. Make sure you choose this. Um, so there's the five eighths inch gypsum wall board. This is the two, two by 10 ceiling joist. And then in the ceiling, um, in the ceiling joist area, you should have insulation. So annotate. Um, and so it should be nine and a quarter, zero, 9.25. A little low should be raised up a little bit. There we go. Um, and that's the insulation when you, if you open the attic of your house, you'll see that kind of stuff. Uh, so uh, whatever kind of insulation, um, maybe like an R19 bat insulation, uh, maybe let's see. I'll do a quick Google search. Uh, two by 10 bat insulation, R value. Um, okay, R30. Wow, much higher than I thought. R30 to R25. So that's, you want the, the better insulation. So R30, R30 bat insulation. Okay. Um, we can also update the exterior wall. So we see that is here. Uh, again, that needs to be eight feet, 11 and three eighths of an inch. Uh, technically it should go over top of the um, ceiling and you can update all that, but again, we're not really gonna get into all that. Uh, the big thing is, let's see, five eighths drywall. That goes, that should be pointing right here. Uh, ceiling insulation, so that number is R30 at insulation. I actually put that in there. So put in annotate insulation. Okay. Again, see how it's kind of dipping into the drywall. Move it up, just click on it, use the up arrow. And then um, drag that back a little bit and there we go. So there's my, uh, two by 10, oh, two by eight roof rafters is what I used before. All right. Two by eight. Um, uh, let's say two by, let's update that to two by 10. And they're not rafters, they're joists.
Oh, sorry. Sorry. The, the roof rafters are two by eight. Um, it's the ceiling joists that I said are two by 10. Two by 10 ceiling joists. Also um, 16 inches. Okay. Now we are officially done with our wall sections. Okay. So we have all that. Uh, all right. So like I said, the electrical plan. So go back to the ceiling first floor. Let's double check. Let's click on all of these. Uh, hide in view, hide all these um, room things. All right, uh, I'm gonna hold down. Am I? That's interesting. Oh, okay. So apparently, I can't choose the ones that aren't not set correctly. So hide and view element. Um, so I need to make sure I choose all of these and reset them to eight and eight foot. Eight from offset, um, eight foot, 11 and three eighths of an inch. Apply. Okay, so let's turn the roof back on. Unhide and view element. All right, so let's try this again. So now I can select all of them, good. So they're all eight foot, 11 and three eighths of an inch. So now we got to put in our ceiling lights. So uh, if you go to architecture, component, load family, go to electrical this time, uh, MEP, uh, electrical power. Let's see. Nope. Connectors. Nope. Let's go to architectural. Keep trying. Uh, electrical power. Nope. Oh, I forgot. Uh, there's a there's a folder for lighting. All right. Uh, internal ceiling light round, ceiling light linear, recessed can. This is what you typically have in like a living room. Um, down light round. Uh, so I'm going to use a recessed light can. All right. And again, elevation from level, let's say eight foot. 11 and 5 eighths, sorry, 3 eighths. Let's hope this works. Okay, so good, it's showing up now. Um, so in your living room, dining room, kitchen, and hallways, you definitely have these recessed lights. And um, so just place them and try to play, you know, typically you'd place them in some kind of pattern. So that's probably enough there. I'd put one here and then put them a couple different places in the hallway and then the dining room. Uh, maybe not put them in the dining room, um, but definitely in the living room or in the kitchen. I want to put a couple in the kitchen. Uh, in the dining room, you most likely have some kind of um, like uh, hanging light. And then you definitely put them in the closets. That's code to require them to be put in the closets. And here's in the pantry. Uh, in this bathroom, yeah, you definitely want one, one or so in the bathroom. And then in the bedrooms, you want to load uh, probably a a uh, ceiling fan. So let's see if we can find a ceiling fan. Scrolling down through, seeing if we can find a ceiling fan. Did I miss one? Nope. Hmm. I don't see a ceiling fan built in here. So Let's go back into maybe MEP, internal, 
I'll use a lot of the same ones. So floor lamp, floor lamp, pendant, pendant light fixture. Sconce, strip light, surface light, table lamp. Light wall, huh. Okay. Um, I would have thought there would have been more like a, uh, one of those. So, okay. So we'll just go with, uh, the, the downlight. All right. So put in, uh, some cans in here. All right. Just make life easy. Just use the same thing over and over again. And dining room table. Okay. All right. So plenty of light. Escape. Um, there we have it. So now we have our lights located. Um, other things that are important. So if we go to uh, again, component, load family, uh, US Imperial. We do have some electrical stuff that we need to put in. MEP uh, connectors. No, that's not what we're looking for. Architectural, power, distribution, electrical panel, no nope. terminals, outlets. So outlets and switches. So uh, a duplex outlet, that's your, your normal outlet that you'd have, you know, just two, you know, a duplex, two outlets. Uh, GFI, that's your, um, I never remember what GFI stands for. Either way, the G stands for grounded. Um, and I can't remember what the FI stands for, but the whole point is that's what's used in a kitchen or a bathroom. Uh, they're the ones that have the little uh, switches that turn on and off. They're, they have internal breakers so that if, if they get wet, uh, if there's water or anything, they uh, the breaker trips faster. Uh, so you want those in any bathroom or a kitchen, um, any laundry room uh, that's, excuse me, near water. Uh, outdoor, you always have to have them. Uh, an outlet for a range if you have an Excuse me, an electric stove, you, um, you know, or, or an electric washer. Uh, those are usually uh, 240 um, instead of 120 outlets. And then um, switches, uh, you can have dimmers, you can have double switch, uh, single switch, and then a three-way switch. So you'd have a three-way switch, usually like in a hallway at both ends, the three-way switch, which operates um, you know, two switches can operate the same light at the top and bottom of the stairs. We don't have stairs here, but we do have a hallway. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna load in switches, uh, a three-way switch, single switch, double switch, uh, a GFI outlet. I don't have, I have, um, yeah, outlet for the range, and then a regular duplex outlet. So load all of those. All right, uh, let's do our, regular switches first. So when you first walk into the house, you're gonna want, oh, so also escape. When we do this, you gotta be on the first floor floor plan now. All right, um, so when you first walk into the house, oh yeah, and by the way, duh, uh, forgot, we need a, another floor plan. So uh, copy this, uh, so duplicate view with detailing. And we're gonna rename this. Electrical. Yeah. Uh, I don't want any of the, uh, all the stuff that, you know, crowds the view. So hide and view all the furniture by category. Um, dimensions, hide and view by category. Um, all the sections, hide and view. Hide and view category, window tags, hide and view category, door tags, hide and view category. I do want to keep my plumbing fixtures and stuff like that um, just because that is important. 
uh, in terms of where the electric, uh, all the electrical stuff goes. All right, so component, single switch. So when you first walk in here, you're gonna want to turn the lights on and probably have two switches, one that operates um, the, eh, no, just one switch, just to operate the, uh, the living room lights here. All right, here you're gonna want uh, switches. You need to figure out where to put the switches for the dining room and the kitchen. Um, I think best option is here and have a double switch bank. So switch double. So I have two switches here. Uh, one that operates the dining room, one that operates the kitchen. Um, you should have a switch here, a single switch to operate the pantry. Single switch, I wanna have that one right there. Um, actually, what I just realized is you probably want a three-way switch for the kitchen. So um, let's go ahead and delete out this double switch. So you um, component, single switch here, that's for the dining room, but then a three-way switch. So you have one here for the kitchen lights and then one over here by this door for the kitchen lights again. All right, that way, if you walk in here or out here, you can turn the lights off. Also, you, as you come around the corner here, you can turn the lights on here. You want a three-way switch here. Uh, and at the other end of the uh, hallway, so that way you can turn them on and off the hallway. And then you want switches for the rooms, just a single switch. Save in a second. Uh, a single switch here. Let's see, uh, single switch. Um, where would I put the switch? Didn't really give myself a good surface to put the switch onto here. Maybe on the inside here for the bathroom. Um, here for this bedroom. Here for this bedroom. Also, you need uh, switches for the closets. So there, oh, so that should probably be a double switch, one for the bedroom, one for the closet. Um, so double switch. Yep. Uh, need a switch for this bathroom. Sorry, for component, single switch. I'll put it right here. Uh, so this bathroom, a switch for this closet, and then switches for the closet. So uh, put a double bank of switches, or sorry, a switch for this one, a switch for this one, and a switch for this one. All right. Um, let's see, anything else for switches? Nope. All right, so there's the switches, and now I wanna do outlets. So component, outlets. Um, and by code, so you wanna make sure your design meets code here. So I should have had those up and ready for us. So CEA, sorry, I have to go through this and find all the electrical codes. So electrical system, code requirements. So uh, receptacle outlets shall be installed in every kitchen, family room, dining room, living room, uh, similar to area. Um, so at no point measured horizontally along the line, any uh, wall space more than six feet. So essentially they need to be placed every 12 feet, all right? Um, so th that's the key part is that, you know, you can kind of estimate here, um, but really it's every 12 feet. So uh, we have regular uh, outlets, duplex outlets. So where's my duplex outlets? Uh, dryer outlet. So a single duplex outlet. So I'm going to put one here. I'm just going to go along uh, 
one here. So again, probably, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to err on the side of too many rather than not enough. Uh, put one behind the fridge. Uh, and then we're getting to the kitchen. So there we're going to need the um, GFI outlets. So let's put a couple in the hallway here, one here, one here. Let's put one on each wall in the bathroom or in this bedroom. Let's put one in each wall here as well. Bathroom, so we're going to want some GFI outlets, uh, GFI outlet in there. All right, here we go. Each room in this, or each wall in there. Uh, we have them there. If, if our washer and dryer, um, if we have gas power or you know, gas or electric, I'd, I'd rather put in electric just to be sure and ready. Uh, water heater, going to want one in that closet. Pantry, aren't going to need one. Oh, this wall, definitely going to need one. Okay, that should be enough, uh, but you can definitely go through. And also for the, the hallway, you don't need to do both sides. You just need to do one side of the hallway. All right, let's switch to GFI outlets. So GFI, you're definitely going to want one near the sink. Um, just So let's put one here, one here. In a kitchen, you can never have too many outlets. That's just what it comes down to. All right, and then um, the range, let's put one behind here for the range. And then again, we're gonna want one in here uh, in case you have an electric dryer. Okay. Uh, and then GFI, you're gonna want one near the sink for here and near the sink for here. Oh, and you're also gonna want a switch. Uh, so this switch will operate the um, the light maybe that's attached to the, uh, the fan, the like uh, the bathroom fan. But you're going to want to switch here. I just realized that's going to operate the um, lights that are usually above a mirror. So a single switch. Going to want to switch here, and then this one is going to operate the the lights above that uh, mirror. All right. So that's it for placing outlets and switches and stuff. And now for the electrical plan, you need to um, connect them. So if I go to the ceiling plan first floor, I can hide the, uh, the ceiling. I'll hide in view by category. But I, I want to be able to see down so I can actually see where the, um, or actually maybe I should see up until I can see the lights. So, so I'll switch back to the first floor floor plan, electrical plan. And I need to change my um, my view range so that I can see up. So the top needs to be up to probably nine feet. And then at the view range, so I can see, so I can see the lights. The whole point is I need to see the lights. So eight foot, um, 11, and we'll say, we'll see if we can just do eight foot 11 and see if that will, so show them. Hmm. No, and also, okay, uh, let's see, eight foot 11 and the eights. No, uh, edit eight foot 11 and one half. All right, so now we see the ceiling and we see the lights. So let's hide the ceilings, hide in view category. Uh, but again, the whole point now is that we can finally, oh, I can see the microwave too. Let's hide that, that's just gonna get in the way. Um, so I can see all the outlets and I can see all the um, light fixtures. So now the whole point is you wanna connect, You want, the, the electrician's really gonna come in and kinda do their own thing, but you're just telling the electrician what lights you want connected to what outlets, all right? So if you go to annotate, um, you're going to put in a detail line and this is thin line, and you typically use uh, an arch type thing. And again, you just want the, to tell the electrician, they're gonna run their own uh, power however they want to. You're just telling the electrician that I want this light connected to this switch. I want, you know, and I want all of these lights connected to the same switch. All 
All right. So that just tells the electrician, this switch controls these four lights. All right. These two three-way switches. So again, annotate detail line. So this switch here is going to connect, is going to control that one. Oops. I don't want a straight line. You could use rounded lines. Um, annotate detail line arch. So that's going to connect. That's going to control that one and this one and this one. And so is that one. So those three way, two, three way switches are going to connect that, control that. This switch is going to control the light in this closet. This switch is going to control the light in this closet. This switch is going to control the light in this closet. So you're, again, you're just telling the electrician which switches control which outlets or which lights. So this switch controls this light and this light. And then this three-way switch connects to the lights in the kitchen here, 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 and then connects to this other three-way switch here. This switch controls the light in the pantry. Let's see, these switches here, one of them controls these lights. And then the other one controls this light for this closet. So you have a bank of two switches here. Uh, this switch controls this light. This switch controls these lights. And then this switch here controls this light. And then this switch here controls a light, it's a, it's a wall sconce, all right? Just like this switch controls this light and this light. Or maybe you should have two switches here. Yeah, we should do that. Two separate switches. Some people don't like to have both an overhead light and uh, the wall sconce light go at the same time. So uh, let's see, where's... Annotate detail line. Oh, not a straight line. I'm doing an arch and I haven't done that. All right, detail line, arch, the switch, the wall up, sconce. Um, just realized I don't have a Maybe I should have connected that one there. Okay. All right. So, oh, forgot this bedroom. So this switch controls this light, this light, this light, and I'm being a little sloppy here. This light. Uh, what I mean by that is I wanted that to be these should connect to the middle of the lights. So detail line, arch here, the center of the circle. All right, to the center of the circle and to the center of the circle. All right, so there is your electrical plan. Um, you have all the switches, outlets, everything. So um, let's go ahead and put that on the electrical plan. Um, electrical plan, drag it out. Oh, looks like I forgot to hide the, the roof. And view category. Yeah, because I made the, the site go, uh, yeah, the view range go up so high, it, it saw that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if you have, uh, you know, print out that, if you have any questions, please let your teacher know.